You'll be pushed to find a Formula One driver that at some point in their lives hasn't lived in Monaco. The Principality may be the second smallest sovereign state in the world, but it's where every millionaire and billionaire comes to soak up the sun, attend glamorous events and enjoy their wealth. The population of Monaco currently stands between 39,000 and 40,000 people, making it the most densely populated nation in the world. Currently, 13 F1 drivers, including reserves, live in Monaco. They are Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo, resident Charles Leclerc, Valtteri Bottas, Antonio Giovinazzi, Sergio Perez, Alex Albon, Daniel Kvyat, Nick de Vries, Stoffel van Dorn, Paul de Resta and Nico Hulkenberg. George Russell was set to move to Monaco this year, having checked out some places during the Monaco Grand Prix. However, for now he's decided to focus on his 2022 future before making the move. But why do so many F1 drivers choose to live there? Now, I'm sure a lot of you will have watched the incredible episode of Clarkson's Motorworld where Jeremy Clarkson in 1996 interviewed past and present F1 drivers and asked them why they made the move to Monaco. The likes of David Coulthard says it's an ideal location for travelling around European circuits. Ricardo Petrucci cited the social life and fitness regime, and Mika Hakkinen said he enjoyed the climate and the good weather. Some other reasons include Monaco's approach to safety and security. With such wealth in the Principality, there's 24-hour video surveillance in place, which covers the entire surface area, as well as Monaco being home to the largest police force in the world, per capita and per square metre. As Hakkinen pointed out as well, Monaco's climate is warm and temperate, with rain mostly falling in the winter months. Monaco's social calendar is also incomparable. Yacht parties, VIP clubs and more can be found there, while Monaco also has its own Philharmonic Orchestra, Opera and Cultural Centre. And for F1 drivers, the location of Monaco makes it easily accessible by airplane, boat or train, due to its fairly central location in Europe. Travel is easy within the continent and Monaco is just 30 minutes away from Nice Airport, which is quite handy given this year's 23 race calendar. But only Austrian driver Gerhard Berger was the most honest with his answer, saying he moved to Monaco for tax reasons. Tax is almost non-existent in Monaco, having been abolished in 1869. All foreigners, bar French nationals, officially residing in Monaco and people with Monegasque nationality can benefit from this zero personal income tax regime. To qualify, all you have to do is live in Monaco for six months and one day out of the whole year. This is quite a big motivation for the likes of Lewis Hamilton, who's said to earn £40 million a year. In the UK, income over £150,000 is taxed by 45%. Now, if Hamilton was subject to UK income tax over the year, he would pay £17.984 million in income tax and £803,000 in national insurance. His monthly income before tax would be £3.3 million, but after tax and national insurance, his take-home pay would be around 1.76 million. Additionally, there are no property taxes in Monaco, just rental properties that are taxed at 1% of the annual rate plus other applicable charges. But for some, the glitz, glamour and tax-free lifestyle is still not enough for them to make the move to Monaco. For example, Lando Norris said he prefers life in Surrey, telling the Times, I am happy in Surrey and enjoying my cold English weather and playing golf. It is just about having fun I guess, being with mates and seeing family when I want, and it is all easy and I enjoy that. I just want to live my life normally. If I moved to Monaco I would not enjoy it. I don't want to do my job in F1 and not enjoy the things around it. Back in 2019, I actually visited Monaco myself and before I got there, I honestly thought I wouldn't really like it. You see, I'm a bit of a country girl. I've lived in the English countryside my whole life. I enjoy going on holidays in the countryside. So for me, Monaco's high-rise tower blocks 
did not inspire me. But surprisingly, I really enjoyed my time there. Everything is in walking distance and there is such a variety of attractions, from the commercialism of the casino and the supercars parked outside of it, to the charming streets near the Prince's Palace. I also got to see the famous Grand Hotel Hairpin, which honestly, when you're there, you don't realise how much you actually have to break in order to make the corner. I think I saw a Mercedes um, Benz uh, A-Class and a Suzuki Swift take that corner, so I was very lucky. <laughs> It's also fair to say that Monaco is a stunning place. If you get the chance to go, I highly recommend going around the Fairmont Hotel and walking around their gardens. It's this gorgeous balcony and you get a great view of Monaco, the harbour and the Mediterranean Sea. Have you been to Monaco? If so, what did you think of it? Or if you've never been, are you planning to make the trip? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content in the future. Until next time, bye!